Please land your arguments. So you can tell me if it's right or wrong. Okay. Go ahead, Destiny. Try it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You're saying that Shokin supposedly left this investigation alone. However, as soon as he started to lock up the assets of the guy that owned this company, the Burisma companies, Biden went and on behalf of his son arranged a meeting with the lawyers of Burisma Holding. Those lawyers came over and in February they had a conversation with Biden where they were saying, "Hey, this guy is fucking freezing the assets of the oligarch that owns our company. Your son works for them. Okay. I need you to fucking do something." And guess what? One month later, that motherfucker is fired, and we've got Biden out here saying, "Hey, guess what? I told him that if you don't fire that guy in six hours, we're walking out. And we're doing a quid pro quo." That's your whole fucking argument, right? No, that's not my argument right the part where you missed i was about to do that never heard it said dated by anybody that the reason why shokin was gotten rid of was because of biden and i've heard that part of the reason why shokin was gotten rid of was because he refused to investigate things like burisma the idea that he's intervening to fire a guy that's already failing to investigate a company that his son is on the board of like, none of that makes sense or lines up. So explain that for me. Originally, you said it had nothing to do with Burisma. That it, when I said they said, what they said was he wasn't even investigating Burisma. Now you're saying, actually, I heard that they said that he wasn't investigating Burisma. That's your position? Earlier, I said that Burisma was a small player in the totality of Ukrainian corruption. That's one. I one literally I said. I made, a second claim I made was that a probe into Burisma had already been abandoned by Shokin. Those two positions are not contradictory. But you see now, you know, fucked up, you know, that don't you? I initially said one of the reasons they gave for getting rid of Shokin was that they said he wasn't investigating Burisma. You said no, 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 and now you're saying, oh, and also they said he wasn't investigating Burisma. <laughs> oh, wow. D do you d dispute that? No, I don't know what this has to do with anything you're saying. But so ahead. the argument that he wasn't investigating Shokin, who was the head of the PGO, he wasn't doing an investigate. That's bullshit. That was a lie. He was freezing their assets. That's how serious the investigation was. What do you think happened immediately after this? Can you take a guess? Can, can I answer the question? Was he fired after you froze their ass up? No. You know what happened? The people from what? Burisma's lawyers met the Obama State Department. They sent them a letter, which we have, that says, Hunter Biden works here. We'd like to meet with you to get rid of these, you know, these slanderous claims about our founder and our CEO. And then, guess what happened? A couple weeks later, Joe Biden went and said, we're going to withhold a billion dollars unless you fire this guy. And they said, we don't want to do that. And then they said, go ahead, try me. I'm not leaving until he's fired. Damn, I'm good! Ironically, Joe Biden asked Shokin to leave because the prosecutor failed to pursue the Burisma investigation, not because Shokin was tough and active with this case, Kalanuik said. Okay, so a couple things. First off, that just disputes your entire position that you started with, because the last line you just read was, the Biden administration said that not prosecuting Burisma was a reason. Do you acknowledge that? Uh, it was one of many. But that's different than what things. you said. That article Rob, literally- I'm going to say this, Rob, listen to me. I'm going to say this one more time. If you don't understand, I'm just going to leave. I can't tell you being bad faith or not. <laughs> Burisma was not the center point for why he was fired. I have not said that. I have never said that. His inaction on Burisma was one of many points. Can you repeat those two things back to me so that you don't I'm come out in the future when I say he wasn't active on Burisma and then you go again, whoa, you just contradicted yourself, Destiny. That was the reason why he wasn't- can you repeat the two points that I just made? I could, but I'm not a fucking child. And what I'm going to do is go back in the video and see if that was your original stance or if you said no one said. Part of the reason why Shokin was gotten rid of was because he refused to investigate things like Burisma. Now, I'm just saying that you were wrong at the beginning. My claim was that okay, there were if people- if you want me to be wrong at the beginning and that helps you move on to- That's, that fine. That's fine. You crazy son of a bitch, you did. So, okay, the next about... paragraph says, Ukrainian prosecutors have described no evidence indicating that Biden sought to help his son by getting Shokin dismissed and have suggested they have not discovered any such evidence. Okay, okay. Go now, ahead. if I, now, fair enough. So that guy who is saying in 2019 that there was no investigation whatsoever into Shokin done, or by Shokin into Zolchevsky, that seems to be belied by the fact that we have actual contemporaneous proof that the investigation was ongoing and his assets were frozen. Now you might say, yeah, but it took him two years. Okay, fair enough. That could be an argument, right? But then why would the Biden administration, or why would the Obama administration send Biden only a month Month after this, and in your article itself says they were upset that they weren't prosecuting, when at this very moment, that's the moment the Obama administration would be like, oh shit, they are doing something. So why would they then say, well, you didn't do anything, so now we want you fired, when it's like, but he's literally doing something. He literally froze their assets. So what we see so what is, is... What is this meeting is about? It's about Burisma. They're the lawyers they, for Burisma. Do they want to talk about the spelling, or what, I mean, what's the meeting about? I mean, come on, Destiny. What do you think? This is like, at some point, I can't argue against anything you're saying, right? You're saying that like, well, they had the meeting and we don't know what happened in the meeting, but it's pretty obvious that in the meeting, they asked to fire this guy and nobody else is saying that anybody asked to fire the guy and nobody's saying that it was because of Biden they fired the guy and nobody's actually saying that he was even fired for Burisma, but we know it's obvious because of it. Like, I can't argue with any of that. I don't know what you expect you to say. Argue, like, you're not even you, wrong. You're, you I can't, can't argue. argue you can't argue because you can't follow a logic trick. <laughs> Okay, can I just answer your argument so you can tell me if it's right or wrong? Okay. Go ahead, Destiny. Try it. Okay. 
Thank you. Okay, you're saying that Shokin supposedly left this investigation alone. However, as soon as he started to lock up the assets of the guy that owned this company, the Burisma companies, Biden went and on behalf of his son arranged a meeting with the lawyers of Burisma Holding. Those lawyers came over and in February, they had a conversation with Biden where they were saying, hey, this guy is fucking freezing the assets of the oligarch that owns our company. Your son works for them, okay? I need you to fucking do something. And guess what? One month later, that motherfucker is fired and we've got Biden out here saying, hey, guess what? I told him that if you don't fire that guy in six hours, we're walking out and we're doing a quid pro quo. That's your whole fucking argument, right? No. <laughs> no, that's not my argument, right? The part where well, you tell me which part I missed. I was about to do that before you interrupted. The part where you missed was it wasn't that Biden contacted the lawyers. It was once the assets were froze, the lawyers decided to reach out to Obama's State Department, which you would do, right? Yeah. Right. That makes no, sense that you would do that. Different. Now you wouldn't. Do, would you? Do you think when you had that meeting, which we could confirm that they set up the meeting at least from the email we could see, correct? Okay. Are you about to restate exactly what I said? No, I'm not, right? right? Okay, I'm not, because it wasn't that Biden reached out because he was like, that's not what I'm saying happened. I'm saying what happened was the assets were throwing, their lawyers immediately met out. Uh, they weren't meeting. Could you say it's most likely they weren't meeting about how the name Barisma spelled? Would you admit that? I don't know what they were meeting for. They okay. could have been meeting for incredibly nefarious purposes, or they could have been meeting for incredibly obvious purposes. Okay. The claim is that Biden had this meeting saying he needed to be fired a full three months before the, this meeting was even set up. Because no, my understanding is that this meeting happened in December of 2015. Right. That's when we call. But if that meeting happened in December and this email was sent in February of 2016, the timelines don't really match up for that. Well, listen, there, I'm, I'm going to steal man your position. There is evidence that Biden, I haven't been able to find it, but I've seen credible people say that this occurred, that in December of 2015, that Biden was saying we want Shokin fired. But that's not going to help because Biden already knew Shokin was in charge of the Burisma investigation, where his son worked. What matters is two months later when the assets are frozen, that's when the lawyers decide to go in action. Why would the State Department be taking meetings with people they think are corrupt? And then it just so happens around that time, Biden is talking to Poroshenko saying, we want you to fire this fucking prosecutor or you're not getting this money. In the context of the State Department, Ms. Tramontano said that Burisma hadn't engaged in corruption and wanted to change the view of the company in Washington. The former official said that Hunter Biden's position on the board wasn't the reason that Ms. Novelli took the meeting and that no further action was taken after it took place. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. So they said that they didn't- Yeah, Biden's cool. No, Connor, let me ask you this. It sounds like if in that email exchange, they actually used the name Hunter Biden, sounds like they weren't talking about the spelling of Burisma. No, no, no. See, what, is, what is this meeting is about? It's about Burisma. They're the lawyers they, for Burisma. Do they want to talk about the spelling or what? I mean, what's the meeting about? So, so hold on, like, the, the, this is what I love. And like, I'm, I'm not trying to be like a huge dick here. Cause like, I'm not, I'm not trying to like, you know, jump a hundred percent on the fucking like, oh yeah, I know this for a fact. Join me. But at the yeah. same time, so I want to meet with somebody and I say, hey, you know, I just want you to know that I'm boys with Hunter Biden. So like, I want a meeting. And then they're like, okay, yeah, cool. We can do a meeting, whatever. Um, and then uh, during that meeting, I say, hey, um, you know, just so you know, like, we're not corrupt. Like, nobody needs to look into us. We don't need to be investigated. And just so you know, like, I'm, I'm boys with Hunter Biden. And then the person leaves the meeting to a reporter's camera and says, hey, listen, I know that Hunter Biden is, uh, you know, works there. And she emailed me about it. And it was also mentioned a couple of times during the meeting. But that had no factor in how I made my decision making process whatsoever or whether or not I took the meeting in the first place. Thank you for all your questions. You have a great day. And like, we're not. Like, like, I'm not saying that, like, that is, like, in and of itself, instant corruption. I'm just saying, like, we just take that on face value. Why are we just taking that on face value? I don't know. I don't know, because that's what's being reported. I don't know, because that's what's being reported. And that's the end of that chapter. <laughs> Gee, I don't know, Destiny. Maybe that's because the so-called journalists and reporters that you trust are purposely withholding this information from you or aren't investigating it at all, which seems to be the case. After all, you can't save democracy without saving Joe Biden's ass from corruption charges and impeachment. All right, folks, thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to check out Destiny and Robert and War's channels. I'll put all those links in the description and pinned comment. If you enjoyed this, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment to vent those frustrations. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all in the next one.